All right, I'm back to my shop now. So let's check out the uh, this battery tester on my uh, Suburban. It uh, has a bad battery. Well, it, it has a Chevrolet charging system, or I should say a battery drainage issue. It'll drain the battery down and uh, within about a month. So there's a lot of draw inside these motors, I guess, or vehicles. So this battery has been completely dead probably four or five times since I've owned it. And I've only owned it for a couple of years. So, so let's test how good this battery really is. So this is our battery tester. So let's go ahead and see what condition my battery's in. This would be a better test because I know my battery's been killed a few times now. That should drop the uh, crank amounts down quite a bit. Let's see what we got in here. Now we do not have to disconnect the cables to put it back in here, so that makes it really easy testing. It's called take it out and go play. So let's go out here and see what we got. Nice cool night, so I'll make even a better test. Alright, let's see what we got here. Not sure how good this is going to show, but we'll find out. First thing I do is put the battery. Positive first. Can't see squat, so somewhere has a damn connector. Yeah, there's one. There are a few fingers. Okay, it came on, that's a good sign. It just went off. Why did it go off? What happened? There, we're back on it. Contact. So one of the things I want to know is the cranking amps the battery you have. How the hell am I supposed to know what that is? Let's see, it looks like it says 78, 650 crank in there, there it is, a 650, so, yeah, so it could blink and run off on me. Okay, this is, um, I'm assuming this is just a sealed battery, nothing fancy, okay. just your generic modern battery. Okay, we're going to do a battery test, let's see, is it better to light on or off? I'm not sure. It definitely doesn't seem to work very good. The camera does not like this screen. There we go. Okay, so what do we got? Battery test. Oh, we do a cranking test. What's that? I don't know. Okay. Yes. Regular flooded battery, I don't know what an EFB is, but I do know it's a regular battery, so that's another yes. Cold cranking amps is a test we're going to do here, so we go with that. What is your cold cranking amps? So this one you go up or down with these buttons right here. And that was what, 650? Six fifty. There you go. All right, hit enter. Testing. It's a big test. <coughs> what do we got? Boom. Health of battery forty-two percent. Right. Whoop. I didn't like that, did it? Forty-two percent is not very good. Four hundred nineteen cranking amps out of the forty-two percent of power. It's got 12.27 volts in it. Now, I took it off the charger a week ago, so it's already discharged down pretty far already. So, oh yeah, it's at 45% charge. It's discharging pretty quickly because it has no, no balls in it. So that's not a good sign. So this battery is poor health. Okay. So now we want to do... I don't want to print, so I go exit, cranking test, what is a cranking test? 
don't know. Let's find out. Please start your engine. Oh, I was supposed to start something? You mean like I need a key and everything? So I guess I got 19 more seconds to do it. I'm gonna get the vehicle first. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Start it. Well, that helps, Manny. 9.74 volts on cranking. Okay, it says normal. Okay, that's good. What else can we do? Let's do a charging test. It appears to be running. I think it's charging. Please start your engine. I just did that. Jeez. Okay, let's turn it off. Exit. Charging test. Okay. Please start engine. Press enter to continue. I already did that. I'm trying to wear my battery out. Okay, now my volt gauge over here, it's pinned all the time at 19 volts, so it doesn't really do me any good. Oh, it goes even higher, it's 22, 21 volts. Yeah, look at that charging, it charges like crazy. We're about 23 volts. Yeah. I think there's something wrong with that gauge. Okay, what's it say? Press enter to continue. Oh, look at that. Fancy. Oh, we're testing again. That was the testing. For five seconds. Uh, let's see, there's a throttle. Oh, this is throttled by wire. I can't just grab a throttle. Okay, 2200 RPM. I was even attacking this vehicle. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think that's five seconds. Testing. I just did that. I don't know. Unloaded, loaded. Charging normal. So the charging system appears to be working, I guess. So, I don't know. What else do we got? Cranking, charging. Review data. Enter. Health of battery. It's tough. Yeah. There you go. Load test. Cranking load. Normal. Cranking time. Alright, there you go. Three tests. All it tells me is the battery's a piece of crap. And Chevy, don't make deals that don't suck up a lot of juice. I already knew all that. Okay. So I know the battery's pretty crappy. But it's enough to start the vehicle, even though it's only got 45% charge rate in it. So there you go. Something I already knew. Good thing I didn't know that already, right? Okay. So the important thing is it runs. that voltage over there. Let's see if we turn the lights, the lights are on. So I don't know what that needle is down to the battery. That's probably not how it's supposed to be. That might be a little bit too much charging rate, but it says it's charging fine. There you go. And it says I got low tire. Yeah, no shit. It leaks air, it leaks tire pressure too. That'd be that tire right there. Yeah, it looks like it needs air. Just works very good. Okay, there you go. See when a tire looks real flat like that, that means it needs air. Yeah. I didn't know that. See how that one doesn't look like that? Because it doesn't need air. Yeah, I don't know.
need a, I don't need a computer telling me those things. All right, there you go. It did the test. It told me exactly what I already knew. My battery sucks. And Chevy's suck up a lot of juice on the battery and cause battery to go dead. Now, I don't know why it does that. That's an important test, and I don't know. That's the one I'd like to know. So, there you go. So, this thing, uh, it does a good job of what it's supposed to do. So, there you go. It does what it's supposed to do. All right.